Gabriel Nobre, 19, with his mom and sister right after he found out he'd passed Brazil's famously difficult university exam. <laughs> Damn it, now I'm tearing up. University entrance exam. <laughs> Gabriel had cut a deal with a prep course to clean the building in exchange for free classes to help him prepare for the exam. Damn, dude. And look, the sister's crying. You got me crying. Frick, I appreciate that. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Easy Peasy. I'm today's narrator and today we're diving into r slash made me smile. With that said, let's get to it chaps, shall we? Possibly the sweetest act of kindness I've ever seen. Family had electricians in every week for the past six weeks and their little boy was obsessed with them. He outed them with questions, kindness and constant offers to help. The little boy just received this from them. Dude, if I got this as a kid, I would have loved to be an electrician. This is awesome. When I was a kid, I used to pray every night I'd wake up the morning with the girl's body. Today I woke up. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Be me. Be 21 year old and depressed. Have no friends and no GF. Mom comes, sees I'm unhappy and buys me a gift. MFW, it's a dog. Gives me food for the dog. Healthy doggo is cute. People see dog. Pet dog. Dog makes me new friends. Thanks to dogs, I have a lot of friends. No GF, but still happy. Thank you, Mr. Doggo. Thanks, Mom, for being the best mom and blessing me with the dog. Happiness and love. Did you name it Mr. Doggo? That's an awesome dog's name! When I was a kid, I faxed my dad's satellite office drawings of horses. I had watched my father send so many faxes that I had the process memorized. Except for some reason, I thought that I could fax things to grandma. I put in the numbers for the office every time, but was convinced that the faxes were going to grandma. I also didn't think to inform my parents that I was doing this. My dad visited the satellite office three hour drive one day and discovered their conference room whiteboard absolutely covered in my drawings. The guys thought it was adorable that I sent drawings and letters to them and didn't tell my dad because they knew he'd stop me. You do you, office workers. Sitting in my car in front of a post office, waiting 10 minutes because they'd closed for lunch. This woman tried to go in and I let her know they were closed for another 10 minutes. She started chatting and I jokingly said, hey, hop in, let's go for a spin to kill the 10 minute wait. She did. Friends, meet Beverly. Hi Beverly, you look freaking awesome in a convertible, dude. If heaven exists, then this is what you see at the gates. <gasps> look at the little floofy puppy, look at him. Hmm, and I won't rest until I've gotten a hot dog. Homer, this is a cemetery. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs here. Woohoo! What do you do? Follow my husband around? Lady, he's putting my kids through college. Don't judge me. Today I learned how to hack unmonitored CCTV cameras. I'm currently watching a dog run around in a backyard in Berlin. Uptight, I found a barn cam that has a horsey in it. And I'm in Poland and I have audio output so I can talk to the horsey. Uptight, there's two horsies and one of them is a baby. This is the best day ever. You shouldn't hack, but maybe hack to see baby horsies? Worth it. Today I learned that millennial dads are spending three times as much time with their kids than their fathers spent with them back in 1982. 43% of fathers have admitted they'd never changed a diaper. Today, that number is down to about 3%. Millennials are killing the deadbeat dad industry. Oh yeah, go millennials, baby. Blessed to see my 105th birthday today. I'm blessed to see it too. That smile's awesome, girl. There's the one girl at school who sends me a mass text to the whole year group whenever she sees a dog so that we can go pet it too. If we're nearby and I have petted at least five dogs because of her. That I would have otherwise and I don't know. I hope you all have someone like her in your lives. Man, that would be awesome. Letting me know there's a dog near me like, come here, little puppy. If you are more fortunate than others, build a longer table, not a taller fence. Please, rich people, share the wealth. You don't need to be trillionaires, billionaires. Just be a millionaire. That's fine. Too nice of a day to stay at the house. Met wife at work just to give her a kiss. Dude, I respect that. That is a marriage that'll probably never fail. Never give up. 41 single mom of four graduating in May with BS in radiology. Long hard road, two hurricanes, pandemic divorce, and the loss of my mother. You are never too old. Most of my family has passed, so here you guys go. Heck yeah, dude. And you don't even look 41, dude. You, you could pass for like 29, 30. You looking good, lady. He went out to play and came back with a friend. Oh, it's a little Bambi. Look at the little Bambi. My son had his gymnastics meet today. When his teammate didn't get any medals, he offered to share one of his, but I didn't earn it, his friend said. My son replied, you earned it by being my best friend. 
Made me tear up? What a good little man. Heck yeah, dude. I sucked at Genasis. I got a fourth place ribbon once for the vault and the polar bear award. But I'm glad you shared your medals. That's great. 72 hours sober for the first time in several years. I know it's not much, but I'm getting there. Heck yeah, dude. And I dig the haircut. 10 out of 10. Jim Cummings, the voice of Winnie the Pooh, often calls children in hospitals and talks to them in Pooh's voice. He once called a little girl in the hospital dying of cancer. The mother of the girl told him that was the first time she smiled in six months. Damn, Jim Cummings. Why you gotta break my heart like that? That's one of the reasons I want to make it really big as a voice actor, just so I can call random people like, Hey, I'm this voice actor. Do your kids want to hear me speak? <laughs> My dad died when I was eight. Every week, a few of the dads on my hockey team would offer to tie my skates. Not in a big showy way, in a quiet, kind way that filled the gap. Find a way to fill the gap for someone. It'll make you both better. I gave some strangers a ride today. I didn't get murdered, and they didn't have to walk in the cold. That felt pretty good, not gonna lie. Lots of banging noises outside. I find my Romanian neighbors have rebuilt my fence, which had fallen down a while ago. When I offered money slash Bia as gratitude, they said it was better to do nice things rather than expect something. Bloody foreigners coming here and building fences. How dare they? How dare they be nicer than most Americans in the world, damn it. God, we look bad. My mom spent hours figuring out and changing her brakes by herself because she don't need no man. I respect your mom. She looks a lot like my mom. I feel like they get along and my mom can change oil, brakes, alternator, and an engine. She did it once. Look at how happy my dad is. He just started baking school and I'm so proud. Damn, dude, you he just started? That's some talent, brother. Look at that waterfall. That's sick as heck. <laughs> He's so happy. After my fiance cheated on me and destroyed me emotionally 10 months ago, I have completely redefined myself and became someone I like being. I found new love with a supportive woman and even achieved my dream of owning a motorcycle. Never been happier than I am now. Dude, you look so fantastic on that bike. If your new fiance leaves you, hit me up. I'll be, I'll ride on the back seat. I don't care what it's called. What have you found out about someone that you would never tell them you know? I think I've told this story on here before in elementary school. I saw one of my best friends eating pizza somebody had thrown in a garbage can. I found out a bit later that his dad had lost his job and his dad, his two sisters, and his mom were living on the street. But he would have died from Shane had I told him that I know. But my mom found out for me and she brought him and his sisters lunch cards for the year and breakfast cards. The school lunch lady told them that they won them in a raffle. Boy, it sucks that kids have to pay for lunch at school. The government funded schools, this is my only problem with this story. This is a hell of a thing to do, but we shouldn't have to pay for lunch at school, dude. Some people can't afford that. I had like $18 in debt at the end of high school and they hounded me for it every day. Had a baby boomer in front of me at the Dairy Queen. She insisted she was a blizzard expert and there was simply not enough chocolate pieces in her blizzard and she wanted to complain to whoever was in charge. She's going on and on with this teenager. The teenager is calmly explaining they make them all the same, etc, etc procedure, etc, etc. But the woman is now yelling at the teen. So I walk past the woman and put money in teen's tip jaw. Haven't even gotten ice cream yet. Woman looks at me, turns back and yells some more with the teen. I put money in the tip jar. The teen smiles at me. The woman can't think of what to say to me and stops yelling because I'm looking at her dead in the eye like ATM is over there. I can go all day. The more you yell at her, the more money she makes. Aggressive generosity to combat boomer selfishness is so punk. Bro, you know what else works? I know it seems wrong, but like whenever my brother's yelling at me because like he's the older brother in charge to my mom I just be quiet and say you know what you're right and they stop yelling. It's awesome After two years of learning photography and posting my work a redditor hit me up for a print This is my first commission ever and the first time ever seeing my work in print. Hell yeah, bro Hell yeah. Also, you have one clean room. I respect that. I was a poor kid growing up. Me too. My mom used to send me to birthday parties with no present, just so I could eat. I definitely got to a point where I understood and was embarrassed as hell. In fifth grade, my friend's mom invited me to sleep over the night before the actual birthday party. When her daughter was in the shower, the mom laid out the toys that she had bought her daughter for her birthday. She let me pick one to wrap and put my name on it. I'm 37 now. I am still grateful to that mom. That one act made such an impact on me. I have a similar story where they let me sleep over for a week straight so that I could eat right. Thanks, Corey's mom. This wild orangutan tried to save a man from a snake-infested pond, believing that he was in danger. The man was actually there to remove snakes from the pond to keep the ape safe. The ape made repeated attempts to help the man by reaching out his hand so he could pull him out of the murky water. The ape saving the man. The man saving the ape. 
God, I love animals. They're so much better than us. New Zealand just approved a new measure allowing for paid leave after miscarriage. This legislation is believed to be among the first in the world applying to couples who lose a baby at any point. Ah, that makes me feel right about the world sometimes. That's just right. All the kids with 100% attendance at my daughter's school get an Easter egg this week. The rest don't. I despise attendance awards. Anyway, today I'm going to buy my daughter, who will never get 100% attendance due to chronic illness, a huge Easter egg. Suck it, public schools. Your teachers don't care about their jobs a lot of time. You don't pay them enough. And you make us pay for lunch when some of us can't afford it. Suck it. Five-year-old Sean dresses up to help street cats because it makes him feel like a superhero for animals. Oh, dude, Sean, that's awesome, bro. 10 out of 10, buddy. Keep being you for the rest of your life. I work remotely, and every day when I walk out of my office, my dad says, Wow, you made great time getting home. I never want him to stop. That's such a dad joke, but one of the best. HR at my work just called me, and I thought I was in trouble for something. But they just let me know my 11-year-old sister has been commenting on their Instagram every day telling them to give me a raise. <laughs> Did you get the raise? You deserve it, dude. Dolly Parton has a program that will mail your child a free age-appropriate book once a month from birth to age 5. No obligation, no cash. She just wants to make sure that every child has books. I worked on a film with Dolly Parton once. She is literally the nicest old lady. A young lady, whatever you want to call it. She's just nice, okay? This is so gosh darn important. I verbally express affection a lot. My husband doesn't. I don't know why. For the longest time, part of me was wondering if it meant he loved me less. At some point, I told him about a thing I had done as a kid. Holding hands, three squeezes means I love you. Suddenly, he's telling me I love you all the time. Holding my hand, obviously, but also randomly. Tap, tap, tap. On my hand, on my shoulder, on my booty. My knee, whatever body part is closest to him, with whatever body part of him is closest to me. All the time. More often than I ever verbally said it. It's an ingrained signal now. I can tap three times on whatever part of him and get three taps back in his sleep. Apparently, I do the same. It's made a huge difference for us. People say things differently. Hey guys, hey guys, real quick. Tap, tap, tap. That's me tap my microphone to show you I love you all. Anyways, let's move on. Don't do drugs. Six months clean today. Oh, bro, that beard is sick, homie. You look great. After years of applying and disappointment, my mom finally got a job that she longed for. I am very proud. Heck yeah, dude. I don't know your job, but I like that smile. Last year, I put the bottle and picked up gardening to help my overwhelming anxiety. Today, I broke a flower just after buying it. Last year, I would have cried my eyes out as if I were the dumbest person alive and beaten myself up for weeks. Today, I have flowers hair. That's all. Yes. Yes, my friend. A professor gave a balloon to every student who had to inflate it, write their name on it, and throw it in the hallway. The professor then mixed all the balloons. The students were then given five minutes to find their own balloon. Despite a hectic search, no one found their balloon. At that point, the professor told the students to take the first balloon that they found and hand it to the person whose name was written on it. Within five minutes, everyone had their own balloons. The person said to the students, These balloons are like happiness. We will never find it if everyone is looking for their own. But if we care about other people's happiness, we'll find ours too. That's a powerful message. I'm gonna try that if I ever become a teacher. God prefers kind atheists over hateful Christians. Oh my gosh, it's almost like it's the whole point of that religion. Love thy neighbor. Oh, but no, you're all a bunch of hateful bigots. Just let people live their lives, dude. My mom always made me a birthday cake every year for 44 years. Two months ago, she died, and my old dad tried his hardest, and my heart melted. Oh boy, like that cake's melting, but hey, I'm glad he tried. Redditors with thin walls, what have you heard in your apartment? My parents told me stories about the apartment they lived in when I was a baby. The lady above us was a classically trained pianist, and her music room was above my room. Apparently, when I would start crying in my crib, she would start playing and I would go right to sleep. After my parents divorced, my dad stayed in the same apartment. A few years later when I went to visit him, I was about 10 or 11. I got to finally meet her for the first time. The woman who used to play me to sleep as a baby taught me how to play the piano 10 years later. I hope you're a pianist doing the same thing, dude. Carry on the message. This woman just came and bought $300 worth of fireworks, and I was being nice and said, Ooh, are you planning a big BBQ? And she said, No, my son has muscular dystrophy and was supposed to die by 18. We're celebrating his 40th birthday tomorrow. He likes fireworks. Wow, dude, that's freaking awesome. 
next door neighbor. Do you ever found my keys on the Des Planis River bike trail? Put them in a bag and hung them from a tree. You are a lifesaver. I'm reminded that there are so many good people out there and you made my day. The fact that they hung him on a tree in a bag is kind of so cute. I love it. A father held on to his baby as he ran on stage to dance ballet with his daughter after she suffered from stage fright during a performance. Heck yeah, dude. This is the type of dads we need. Mine just scorned me when I didn't hit the baseball correctly. This father-daughter Wreck-It Ralph cosplay is adorable. Dude, the dad alone's adorable. The kid just makes it, like, double adorable. After months of trying for a child, my girlfriend sent me this photo. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, I hope you're a good dad. As a dad, giving my daughter the hairstyle that makes her feel like a queen always is a win in my book. Freaking sweet, dude. My mom let me grow my hair however I wanted. She let me dye it purple at like nine years old. It made me happy, even if it didn't make her happy. Yesterday, I stopped to pet a dog, and as the owner walked away, I heard him say to her, You see? Everybody loves you, and you don't even love yourself. And I'm going to be thinking about it for the next five years. Huh. That's a, that's a striking message for old Coog. Give me a minute, guys. My dad is sitting outside in an inflatable hot tub listening to Dark Side of the Moon, and I get this freaking text. Oi, turn the bathroom light off. I'm in there, stupid. Use a flashlight. You're killing the mood, kiddo. One of my old co-workers got hurt really bad while he was out riding his bike after work. The doctor told us to say goodbye because he probably wouldn't make it. But he did. He came out of his coma, went through multiple surgeries and rehab. Not only did the owners of the mom and pop store we worked at pay for almost all of his hospital bills and more, they continue to pay him weekly plus the bonuses he would have gotten. They also held his job for him. Why can't big companies do this if a little mom and pop shop can? For all you know, they mortgage the business to do this because they're good people. But no, let's let's all live with greed. Let's just help each other, man. What is the best compliment you've ever received? Never received one. I like your name, it's cool. The best compliment I've ever received was from Big Red Hawk 42, who said my name is cool to help cure my depression. <laughs> Come on, Reddit, shoot me some love, please. My daughter's art teacher sent her a care package. Self-explanatory. Dude, that's sweet! This stuff isn't cheap! That's freaking awesome! Today, I asked a kindergartner if Friday was his favorite day of the week, and his response was, I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. I'm confused all the time. Maybe I'm a kindergartner. Maybe life's not so bad. I may be straight, but I don't hate. I don't even need to read this, dude. This is a good cop. Finally, there's some good ones in the world, man. Four years ago, I left an abusive relationship. I started over with nothing but two trash bags of clothes, sleeping on my daughter's couch. I worked hard to rebuild my life, with no thoughts of dating ever again. One year ago, Mr. Wright walked right into my life out of the blue. Life is beautiful with him by my side. I want this man to, like, teach me how to do things. He just looks so knowledgeable and kind. I'm pretty sure that's Santa Claus with a shaved beard. Look at the joy in his face. So, I sold my daughter's slide yesterday on Facebook Marketplace. I asked the buyer, how old are your kids? She giggled and said, no, it's for my pugs. They love to go up and down the slide. We are all mothers in our own way. Made my day. Look at how happy the pug is. It's just like, I got a slide. This is my partner, Zora. He's blind, hence the reason his eyes look closed. I made him smile, so he made me smile, and now I hope he makes you smile. Heck yeah, dude. Also, that is a sweet t-shirt, and the hair matches his. 10 out of 10, buddy. My son just told me that he loves the new toy trucks that got at daycare. They are his toy trucks. We donated them because he refused to play with them. Yeah, kids be that way sometimes, but hey, they're cool as heck, and at least you donated them instead of just throwing them away. Remember this, popcorn is prepared all in the same pot, in the same heat, in the same oil, but they don't pop at the same time, so don't compare yourself to others. Your time to pop is coming. Sweet, there's still hope for me yet. Let's go, guys. One day, Cougar's gonna turn from a cougar into a popped cougar. I don't know if that's a good joke or not. My dad once wrote a note to us and put it in a drawer. The note said, if you're scared to tell me something, just bring me this note as a reminder that I'm here to support you. I won't get mad. I'll work with you on a solution. Best way to keep your kids talking to you. Well, I know how I'm parenting. If I have any kids or adopt kids, that's going to happen. My neighbor just dropped the cake she was carrying from her car into her house and sat down and cried until her husband carried her into the house. And I've never felt a stronger connection to any other human being in my life. Baking her a new cake now. Please, please tell me you actually baked the cake. You are a good person and I've lived that life. My daughter got married last night. She is the one in the suit. 
Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Well, hopefully this video brought you some joy in your life, and your life is fabulous now. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day. Be good, people. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, put a smile on my face, and remember, stay safe out there, everyone.